What is rockin' with y'all YouTube? My name is Ethan and today I'll be giving y'all a few tips on how to win more Gulag fights. I know Gulag fights can be annoying and you just want to secure that win and get back into action. And I'm gonna be honest, you need these tips. But before we go ahead and get into it, let me know y'all's favorite gun in the Gulag and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for your boy. And let's go ahead and get into it. Simple. Me. Do you fear or trust me? Ooh. Do you love or I'm gonna keep this video short and hopefully around five minutes long. These tips are super helpful and will improve your gulag fights a ton. I feel like they might not work every time, but I would say I went about 70% of my gulag fights personally whenever I'm in the gulag. So let's go ahead and get into the first tip. For the first tip, I would recommend you have your teammates be quiet for the time you're in the gulag. You will be able to concentrate better with only game volume. With only game volume, you'll be able to hear footsteps at a higher percentage than with your teammate talking in your ear. But let's go ahead and get into tip number two for I can elaborate better on that and even explain the difference of having your teammate talk during the gulag. For tip number two, I would suggest having a teammate above you, which they can see where the enemy is and help call out and let you know where they are. Personally, sometimes I ask them to be quiet because I find tip number one more efficient, but regardless, both tips are honestly really good to use when you're in the gulag. Without further ado, let's go into the end to tip number three. Moving into tip number three, I think this is the most effective strategy to do, and this is what I do every time I get into the gulag. When I spawn, I looked at the opposite way I'm gonna go, then I will go straight to the middle wall and wait till I hear footsteps. Once I hear footsteps, I will pop out from the cover and throw grenades or shoot at the opponent when I see them. Let me know if y'all are going to use this and try this out and you'll be able to see this throughout the whole gameplay from the gulag. Let's go ahead and move into tip number 4. For tip number 4, I would highly recommend you using your tacticals and lethals. You'll be able to stun the opponent, then rush them and they will be at a severe disadvantage. As well, you have molotovs or grenades. You can throw either one and kill your opponent pretty quickly. You could even guess where the opponent is by throwing a lethal in the area of the gulag. Let's go ahead and move into tip number 5. Proceeding to tip number 5, I will suggest you to pre-fire your gun or even grenade. Pre-firing is when you shoot your gun before you can see the opponent. If you're using any type of gun in the gulag, I would recommend pre-firing the automatic shotgun or even pistol. And if you have any type of lethal, throw it in the area that you think they would be at before they get there. Now let's go ahead and move into tip number 6. With tip number 6, I would recommend you being aggressive with certain guns in the gulag. The only guns I would say to be aggressive with is the shotguns and the pistol that has the highest fire rate. If you play aggressive with a revolver or even deagle, you can end up dying and won't be able to respawn and secure the W. Let's go ahead and get into tip number 7. Going into tip number 7, I would advise you to look at the red line of the opponent before the countdown ends and you start fighting. If the opponent is looking one way, he will most likely be going that way and you will have an advantage of knowing which side they are at before you even started the gulag fight. Some players like to trick you and look the other way. As soon as the red line disappears, they would go the opposite way. Be aware of that, make sure you know which way they're going and don't be fooled. And let's go ahead and get into tip number 8. Moving into the final tip, I would suggest you aim higher on the opponent meaning chest and up. If you shoot them in the chest and up, it will do more damage. If you headshot them with a certain gun in the gulag, it would be an insta kill and you will be able to get back in action in the war zone. I hope y'all use these tips that I've been giving to you guys. All these tips in the video I do personally use when I'm in the gulag. In return, all I ask is for y'all to drop a like and maybe even subscribe for your boy. Without further ado, that is the video and I'll let the rest of the clips play out. Peace out, simp.